Hi kids, welcome back to Virtual Sunday School. Hope you guys are doing great. I hope you've had a great week as well. I wonder, have you ever read a story or a poem that you didn't quite understand? Well, in our lesson today, Jesus tells his disciples a parable. And a parable is just a story that's helping us look at things in a different way, or perhaps take a different perspective. And sometimes those parables can be a little difficult to understand. So our story today comes from the book of Mark, chapter four, verses one through 20. If you'd like to follow along with us in our All of Us God Storybook, we're in chapter 23. Now this is also known as the parable of the sower. Jesus began to teach beside the lake again. Such a large crowd gathered that, that he climbed into a boat there on the lake. He sat in the boat while the whole crowd was nearby on the shore. He said many things to them in parables. While teaching them, he said, listen to this. A farmer went out to scatter seed. As he was scattering seed, some of the seed fell on the path and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on rocky ground where the soil was shallow. They sprouted immediately because the soil wasn't so deep. But when the sun came up, it scorched the plants, they dried up and they died because they had no roots. Other seed fell among thorny paths. The thorny paths grew and choked the seeds and they produced nothing. Other seed fell into good soil and bore fruit. Upon growing and increasing, the seed produced in one case a yield of 30 to one, in another case a yield of 60 to one, and in another case a yield of 100 to one. Jesus said, whoever has ears to listen should pay attention. When they were all alone again, the disciples asked Jesus what the parable meant. Jesus explained that it's the farmer who scatters the word of God. Then Jesus said, this is the meaning of the seed that fell on the path. When the word is scattered and people hear it, right away Satan comes and steals the word that has been planted in them. Here's the meaning of the seed that fell on rocky ground. When people hear the word, they immediately receive it joyfully. Because they have no roots, they last for only a little while. When they experience distress or abuse because of the word, they immediately fall away. Others are like the seeds scattered among the thorny plants. These are the ones who have heard the word, but the worries of their life, the false appeal of wealth, and the desires of more things break in and choke the word and it bears no fruit. The seeds scattered on the good soil are those who hear the word and they embrace it. They bear fruit, in one case a yield of 30 to one, in another case 60 to one, and then in another case 100 to one. This is the story of God. I wonder what questions you would have asked Jesus after hearing this parable. I like to think that this story can apply to us in our lives. For example, we are like the different types of ground or specific situations that Jesus presented in the parable. Like the seed that fell on the path. We hear the words of God but immediately they get snatched away or they get dismissed and they never really take ground or enter our hearts. Or like the seeds that fell on the rocks, maybe we stop getting excited about God. The words just kind of dry up and we no longer have any life for Jesus in our hearts. Or 
like the seeds that fell on the thorns, maybe we get so worried, we get so distracted by these earthly things that we no longer have time and we can't take root, we can't allow these words to take root in our hearts. But then finally, the seeds that fall on the good soil, I believe this relates to if we truly believe in God's word and we allow these words to enter our hearts, we are open to growth, we get excited about sharing that good news, I think this is when we see the true uh, blessings of the harvest. We reap a harvest and we allow that to spread throughout our lives. Now, how do we know how our hearts are? Is it like the thorns? Is it dried up like the rocks? Or is it like just the flat, hard ground of the path? I think we can ask ourselves, how are we feeling? How are we feeling about Jesus? How do we feel about going to church, about studying his word? How do we feel about talking about God or Jesus to other people? How do we feel about inviting friends to church? Have we gotten lost? Have we lost our excitement for God? I think we can always turn to God for help. When we recognize that maybe we've gotten off track, we can ask God to help us refocus, to get ourselves back on track. We can ask God's help in helping us realize the priorities in our life for what's truly important and help us find excitement in spreading the good seed. So I wonder after hearing today's story, if you took a moment to reflect, to notice if it offers any connection to your own life experiences. Maybe you found yourself unexcited about church or disinterested in learning anything about God's word. I think at some point we can all relate to that. Or perhaps you have a friend that's going through a tough situation or that seems somewhat lost, how could you help that friend? The cool thing I think about this story and what I take away is that the seed in the story is the good news, the word of God. We, the people, are the soil, but Jesus is the sower. And we can always depend on Jesus to help us make good choices, follow a good path, but also get us back to truth. So I invite you to join me in prayer and pay attention to listening to God and not always just asking God for things, but pausing in our prayers to listen. So we're gonna start our prayer today with just some silence, just to listen, and then I'll bring, us, um, bring our prayer to a close. Please join me. Dear God, thank you for your teachings. Help us to be open to learning more from your word. Show us how to share your love with others. Be with those who are in need. Give them strength. Give them courage. Be with us this week as we go out and spread more good news. In your name we pray. Amen. Until we meet again next week.